Uh, hello and welcome. Uh, in this small demo, we are going to show you MT Pro for Magento 2 platform. As you can see on the left hand side in the main panel, you can find two additional icons eBay and Amazon. Those are respectively for MT Pro eBay integration and MT Pro Amazon integration. We start by uh, clicking on eBay icon on the left hand side. And the process is very simple and straightforward. First of all, we need to register our module. Then we're going to define which account we want to connect to M2E Pro. And after that, we will start with listing configuration. Uh, most of the data will be taken from uh, Magenta configuration. However, if you can see some fields missing, you will need to populate those. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to connect our Magenta to a Sandbox account. If you do not have a Sandbox account, you may go to eBay website and create one. After having been transferred to eBay website, you will need to grant MT Pro permission to use your eBay account. At this point, you have successfully registered your module and added account details to MT Pro. Next step is to create first listing. MTA Pro listing is a group of products which share similar characteristics. So in order to create an MTA listing, you need to define general settings, payment and shipping information. You will need to provide selling description and synchronization settings. We start by giving our listing a title. Please use something meaningful. For example, in this case, we are going to call it Clothing United States. And we are going to use United States as a marketplace country. Now we need to choose appropriate Magento store view. We are ready to proceed to the next step. In payment section, we are going to choose a couple of payment methods. First of all, we are going to choose PayPal and cash on delivery. Policies can be reused, so please give meaningful names to your policies. Next step is to provide shipping settings. Let's choose one shipping service from the drop down menu and define pricing for it. Shipping by UPS ground service will cost $3.99 and we will charge $1.99 for every additional item. Now we save those settings as a new shipping policy by giving a name. So far we have defined payment policies and shipping settings for our listing. Let's create return policy. As you can see, policies can be edited at any time or highly customized. Selling setting part of the configuration simply defines price, quantity and the format or in which you sell your products.
you may define various pricing strategies. For example, in our case, we will reduce eBay prices by $2 versus prices we have in Magento. And again, we give our policy a name so we can reuse it many times later. Now we need to specify how we are going to describe our products on eBay. For that, eBay has certain requirements. Images can also be displayed differently on eBay. We save our configuration as a new description policy. Last step but not least, is to configure synchronization settings. Synchronization settings help us to synchronize our products depending on our requirements. We start by defining listing rules. In some cases, products can be listed automatically. Then we move on to revision rules, release rules, and stop rules. Now we save our synchronization policy. M2E Pro listing has been configured. Now we are ready to add products to it. We can add products by product list or by categories. Out of thousands of Magenta products, let's pick up one product, which is a variation product. We choose this product and click Continue to add this product to the M2E Pro listing. You can create rules which will allow you to automatically add or delete products uh, to MTE Pro listing. However, we are going to ignore this for this particular exercise and start configuring. When deciding under which category on eBay to list your products, you have a number of options. You can list all your products under the same category. You can use your Bygenta catalog in order to define eBay category. You can get eBay to suggest categories or you can set up a category manually. Now it is time to define item specifics. In order to be listed on eBay for certain products, you need to provide certain information. In our case, this is brand, style, size type, and size. Also, we are going to define color.
in order to create an eBay listing with our product variations, such as color or size, we are going to add custom attribute. We have configured MTE Pro listing and now we can push products automatically to eBay or we can go to the listing to review the detail. This is our variation product which we have added to MTE Pro listing called Clothing US. All products added to that listing will share same synchronization, description and selling policies. We can go to Magenta product catalog to see product detail. As you can see, we have a lot of product variations, different sizes, different colors. Let's change the price for one of the options. Let's send this product to eBay. As you can see, our product has been successfully listed on eBay. MTE provides comprehensive logging, allowing you to see all the interaction which has happened to a particular listing or particular product. For your convenience, we have created a number of view modes. View mode eBay defines and shows you how products are getting listed on eBay. Magenta view mode provides us with the information about product from Magenta product catalog. Let's visit our product on eBay. As you can see, MTE Pro has successfully listed variation product on eBay. This particular listing has various sizes and colors. As you can see, as we change colors or sizes, the price of the product also changes. If you remember, when we created a pricing strategy for our MT Pro listing, we decided to discount our eBay products by $2 against the price in Magenta catalog. Let's have a look at the example. You can see that Magenta catalog price is still $57 while the price on eBay is 55.
let's purchase a product. For testing purposes, we are going to use local pickup shipment method. Now let's see if order has come through from eBay to Magenta. As you can see, order from eBay has come successfully through to Magenta. However, Magenta corresponding order has not been created. The reason why it has not been created is because we chose a delivery method and the payment hasn't come to Magenta yet. So according to our order creation setting or policy, we do not create Magenta order unless we have received payment.